guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Given Crew. Hey guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Folks Can Coo. Okay, so I have my daughter's tablet here, so hopefully, I know it seems a little dark to me, but hopefully you'll be able to see the cards and hear me a little bit better. But it does seem a little dark, doesn't it? Okay, anyway. Um, so let's see here. This is going to be Divine Masculine reading for February the 12th until the 20th. So that includes... Um, Valentine's Day as well. All right, so what should we do here? Um, let's do a crystal ball. Okay, so I have the card shuffled, so let's just begin. And I'm worried about how dark that is. Okay, anyway, so it's going to be a five by five grid, four cornerstone cards, which are the major energy in the reading. Um, as well as one center card, which is the main message from the universe. So there's going to be a distant past, recent past, present, near future, and final outcome. All right, so first cornerstone card, distant past, position 10 of cups. Yeah, it's dark, isn't it? I don't know if this is going to work. Well, okay, I'll try and lighten it up in the um, video editor. All right, so the 10 of cups represents... Um, you know, that happily ever after, it's feeling complete. It is um, a sense that there's harmony within the family, within relationships at home, right? So as a cornerstone card, there's this uh, peace and harmony, feeling like you've attained that as, as a cornerstone. Next, star card, wow. So your hopes and wishes um, have come true. You feel that, you know, you've been through the worst of it now. And so this is healing energy and it offers hope for the future as well. Um, yeah. So you've been in a healing state. Next. Devil. Wow. Two major arcanas. So the devil is the ego um so anything you know it basically has to do with the material world it's a chain holding you down card karmic relationship an addiction or just a belief in yourself that you're not good enough um yeah so you've you've faced your ego you've you know, because we got this beautiful, loving, harm harmonious energy flowing through the reading. And that, and that seems to me that it's allowing you to, to deal with whatever this chain is. Next, Page of Swords. So this is, you know, a very important communication card. It's also younger energy. Um, it's... You know, having all these ideas, these thoughts um, swirling around in your mind and, you know, wanting to put them down on paper and, you know, eventually formulate an action plan. Um, so it is, this is also a card of learning as well. But, you know, what I'm feeling from this is either there was some communication that was kind of childish, um, you know, maybe cutting, um, you know, you, you, you spoke your truth and it has to do with this devil here. Maybe perhaps a devil, you know, is with a karmic partner and I see a child. Um, so maybe there's been some decisions that were made regarding a karmic relationship. You know, there's, we got this happy home this healing energy, but, you know, really, you know, there's this devil that's there that's it's almost like holding this child ransom or, do you know what I mean? Um, 
it's a definite chain, right? So there's a sense that the masculine wants to um, make some decisions about it or have some. I'm not sure why the video shut off, but okay. Um, you know, this is the first time I'm using it. So if it shuts off again, I apologize and I'll, I'll check to see what the settings are. Maybe it only, uh, and I just noticed it was at 11 seconds. Um, yeah, maybe it's an automatic setting. I don't know. Okay, so you'll have to, well, you know, let me just go ahead and shuffle. I was going to say you'll have to trust that I'm not messing with the cards. All right, so final cornerstone card, two of swords, making a decision, yeah. But this, this card is crossroads, indecision, inability to move forward. You know, the choice that you have to make is... Um, has far-reaching consequences, but it is coming in the distant past, so there's a sense that you did make that decision, especially when it, when it's right beside the Page of Swords. All right, so I found out that the memory is full, so that's why I kept on shutting off, so I'll be able to splice these together, and plus I brought in a little bit of light as well. All right, so let's continue on here. Um... Let me just try and move this down a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't tip over. Okay, so um, the recent past position, the universe, another major arcana. So this is the final piece of the puzzle being placed, and it's right below the Ten of Cups, which kind of tells me that, you know, the Ten is a completion, so it's an ending. Um, and this is the end of the Fool's Journey. So <clears throat> it's major accomplishment, and it's um, reaching a state of nirvana. Right, so it's a very blissful, peaceful state, just like the Ten of Cups. Um, and this is also making major realizations, right? We have this eye looking into the universe and, and um, understanding, you know, how everything works, how everything flows together, what your purpose is on Earth, um, what you're here to do, um, you know, and when you look at the universe, you, you see yourself looking back. So you feel this deep connectedness with everything. So the masculine, you have completed a major cycle. You feel this, um, it, well, you're getting an um, acknowledgement from the universe as well, right? And so, yeah, you should feel accomplished, especially if you have released the devil. You've made a decision to move forward. You know, for a long time you've been stuck at that crossroads. Next is, wow, third eye. Very cool because um, the third eye kept on showing up in your reading. You know, you were the high priestess in the past position as well as, um, I believe, what you were bringing into the union. So this is tapping into the subconscious mind, um, listening to your inner voice. Um, you know, listening to that gut instinct when something tells you, you know, there's something amiss. So you've, what I see here is like really going within, connecting to your higher self. Um, you know, there's this divine guidance as well that I'm seeing here. So you are searching for answers and those answers, um, whatever they are, whatever you've discovered, they are the truth. Do you know what I mean? There's this deep knowing, once again, that sense of a deep knowing about where your path is going to lead you. Next, Nine of Pentacles. So this is harvest, again, another um, feeling of completion. It's right below the devil. So this tells me that you've released yourself from something. This is the independence card and it's a nine, so it's nearing the completion. You're almost at the 10 of pentacles, which is long-term manifestation. So this is feeling like the king of pentacles, feeling like you have this abundance flowing in. So you can splurge a little, right? You can go on a vacation, look after yourself, um, you know, get a massage, that kind of thing. So this is feeling ready, feeling ripe, you know, like the, the fruit is ready to drop from the branches. Um, feeling grounded as well, but very successful, accomplished. So, yeah, major sense of completion happening in the recent past, groundedness, success, and it, again, it comes 
after making a decision to release yourself from that blockage. But you you had to heal yourself first before you were able to do that. Next, Four of Cups. So this was the overall energy of the reading for the Twin Flames. Um, so feeling disconnected, feeling like things aren't moving. Um, so there's the sense that you went through that healing period, a lot of self-love happening. And so this card is looking to the past, feeling like maybe you missed an opportunity. Um, but, you know, there's, there's a sadness, there's a the detachment and a longing. Um, right, so let's see what the rest of the cards say. Five of Pentacles, another disconnect. So this is feeling like you don't have any help, feeling alone, um, feeling like, you know, you've had to make some sacrifices, um, make some choices that has left you feeling disconnected. So these two cards together, major emotional and physical withdrawal, um, that has caused loneliness um, and you know just it's almost like depression in a way feeling like you know it's a self-fulfilling prophecy in a way you know and it seems to be around the cluster of the devil okay so you made it a choice to release something and you're feeling the effects of it even though you have your independence you, f you see the journey that you've had to take to get to this point but now you're questioning whether it was worth it you know whether the sacrifices I've made um, are worth it but ultimately they are because you got the third eye chakra there okay so what's in your present position queen of pentacles so this could very much be your energy um, it's another, you know, self-love card. It's very reflective of the Nine of Pentacles. I mentioned the King of Pentacles, but it's more closely related to the Queen because she's somebody who enjoys, um, you know, not only luxury, but she enjoys making the home a beautiful place, right? She, she's always baking cookies or, um, you know, organizing activities for the kids you know, fun activities, but it, home is what's important to her, and so we have that Ten of Cups in the background there, um, so there's a sense that this hominess, um, you know, the sense of family and belonging is being generated in the masculine's present position, so this could be the masculine being this energy, um, or um, the feminine might be you know, creating this energy in the, you know, the 5D. So it's a very grounded, secure, successful, independent, um, um, home-oriented type of energy there. So you know what, I'm just going to pull one card from my tiny jack, just for confirmation, I feel guided to do that. What do you mean by the Queen of Pentacles? And that could also mean, you know, he desires to see the feminine in 3D because we feel this this loneliness, right? The Five of Pentacles is Earth energy disconnected in 3D, feeling that loneliness. Um, okay, what do you mean? Sun. Interesting. So this showed up as a crowning card for the Twin Flame. So it was a you know, he brought in this card as a confirmation on his side. I can't remember what the feminine brought in. Oh my God, I'm blanking. Um, but this is what he desires, right? This new beginning. So there's a lot of fiery, heated passion here, but at the same time... Um, okay, well, we're back to my own camera. Um, I don't know, there's something wrong with storage. So it won't let me uh, videotape anything you know, longer than a couple of minutes. So... Um, yeah, I'll try to splice everything together. I apologize, guys. So let me just shuffle that. So what was I saying? So yeah, the Sun card, most positive card in the deck, represents new beginnings, a return to innocence. Um, so this feeling, this, you know, very powerful masculine energy, extroverted energy is being directed or felt by 
the masculine through to the queen of pentacles, right? This homeness, this, this sense of, you know, her shining her light bright, drawing the masculine towards her, or, you know, I don't know. There's just so much success and abundance here, especially with it below the universe card and um, the ten of cups. So whoever this person is represents somebody who's, you know, very gentle, caring, nurturing, wants to look after you, uh, and brings these positive emotions. Next, at Five Swords. So, finger pointing, negative, um, you know, conflict, um, being accused of something, having your, you know, buttons pushed. So, these are negative thoughts um, and conflict, perhaps, between you and another person. Now, it's almost like, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is directing her finger towards whoever is going to be in the center card position because the next card is message from the universe, the main, you know, message that the universe wants to get across to you. So that is the Ten of Swords. So it's right below the ego, the devil there, um, and then your independence, right? And this finger is being directly, you know, is pointing directly at the Ten of Swords. Ten is completion, ending. So the universe is telling you to... You know, this is a dark night of the soul, completely opposite energy of that sun there. So the un universe is telling you to put an end to conflict, to put, to cut that devil out of your life once and for all, whatever that may be. So this is also feeling of uh, being betrayed, stabbed in the back. And if I remember the twin flame reading, you guys got the seven of swords in your present position. So there's a feeling that you can't trust, you know, um, you know, all that glitters not gold kind of thing and I think that what that's what the message was for uh, the feminine side it's like she's looking to she's questioning whether things are real if your intention is real and it's kind of being reflected on your side as well so there's these negative thoughts that are kind of swirling around um, and so universe is telling you to put an end to the that dark night you know uh, pick yourself up dust yourself off and move on next 10 another 10 so we got two tens in a row plus we got the sun which is another one uh, so one 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 and I also wanted to mention that um, when the, the camera fell over I looked at it, it was 11 11 so the destiny card wheel of fortune so this is a change occurring, a major completion of a cycle. Um, it's about to happen um, or is happening. So things are about to turn in your favor. Uh, good luck, good fortune is on its way. Um, but what I'm feeling here is just, you know, this major shift. You know, you might be putting an end to certain things in your life so that this Queen of Pentacles and beautiful energy can come forward. Next. Wow, the High Priestess. Another synchronicity. Right, the third eye chakra, High Priestess in the past and in the present, very strong on your side. So you guys are getting, you're becoming very intuitive. You're listening to your inner voice. You're seeing um, through illusions. You're seeing people for what they really are. Um, but there's this quiet inner reflection that's happening while this chaos is in your environment. You know, there's a deep feeling of loss and loneliness and separation. In a sense that that destiny is now turning that around for you. There's this beautiful grounded energy in the proximity waiting to come through. Because I'll, I'll also read these as past to, to future running in this direction as well. Okay, so near future. Wow, another synchronicity. This was showing up in your near future for the Twin Flame reading. So transformation, metamorphosis. So putting a death to that ego, an ending, cutting away things that no longer serve you. Very cool. Okay. So, why won't that stay? Okay. 
solar plexus chakra. So this is a lower chakra, but this card is activated when you need to exert your will onto the world. Now in the twin flame reading, the chariot was another very strong card, and that's taking control of your life, overcoming challenges, obstacles, um, defending yourself, having confidence and courage in order to to speak your truth, right? There's this conflict happening, very dark energy, and then you're putting an end to it, but it requires great strength for you to do that. Next, tower, of course, the tower. The ego, ten of swords, the tower. Wow, plus the death card. So, you know, there's a lot of fire here with the solar plexus and also with the the tower, so it's an explosion, um, like the phoenix rising right from the ashes. Uh, so there's a very sudden change, disruption comes in, like a bolt of lightning, rocks your world. It's so it's major realizations, and you know, so these illusions were meant to come down so that a better life, you know, can happen or be built upon the rubble, upon the destruction, and yes, it has definitely something to do with the ego, death of the ego, tower, it's the end to that, right, so there's like, be prepared, the destiny card is saying there's something about to happen, and it's going to end, um, and you're not going to expect it, so when it does happen, find the courage, the strength, in order to just let it go, you know, don't hold on to things that continue, continue to drag you down, right? The, the scissors here are, is cutting that chain, and the transformation card is doing the same. But the house of cards is the tower. You cannot stop the tower. It completely destroys all the illusions, right? It's this one grand force that comes in, and then the death card washes away the, the debris. Next. <laughs> of course, yeah, of course, destiny, right, true love, spiritual union, the two of cups, your twin flame, all of this is happening because of your, you know, your soulmate, your true love, um, so this is heart chakra activation, it is recognizing your twin, and it is spiritual union, feeling connected to them in the 5D, um, does, you know, just feeling those emotions and allowing those emotions to transform your consciousness it awakens you right? a lot of major um, illumination or aha moments that are about to happen it has to do with true love next wow the magician of course so after all of this destruction there's a number one beginning again so the, the journey is complete. The magician um, now realizes his strength, his, his power, and he focuses attention on manifestation. Right? So this is creating a new reality for yourself and feeling empowered, realizing you have all the tools to do that. So he, you know, it's after that destruction, crown chakra activation, guided by your intuitive knowing it, you, you're intuitively, intuitively being drawn to manifest this spiritual union into the 3D. But, you know, you've had to clear away these major elements first. All right, final row, cornerstone card, page of pentacles, a student. It's right below the queen of pentacles. So this is sitting down. It's, um, this card is you've already made a choice. And once you've made that choice, there's no going back. So you're starting a new life. You're sitting down and you're starting to plan for a long-term goal. And you can see that long-term goal is that Ten of Cups. You want to manifest the Ten of Cups as the Ten of Pentacles. Right? So this that's a retirement. It is stability, um, family unity, um, long-term. But... This is needing to, you know, either go back to school, take, you know, further education, uh, move, um, take on a new job, or there's some kind of effort required on your behalf in order to create a new, new life. So we got this new beginning with the Page of Pentacles, which is 
manifestation into the 3D. Same thing with the man master manifestor, the magician. So, yeah, from that destruction, you're you're now sitting down creating a new life. You want to manifest that dream into reality. That's what the Page of Pentacles is and the magician. Next, the Five of Cups. So, here we have a Five of Swords, the Solar Plexus Chakra. We got a healing in the back with the Star card, the Intuitive card as well, two Chakra activations, and then the Five of Cups. So this is mourning, loss, right? So there's a lot of conflict happening there. We got the tower and all this destruction is ending here. Um, and so there's a grieving process that's going to happen. So, you know, don't fight your emotions. Um, tears are healing rain. Feel whatever you need to, to feel. Say what you need to say. You know, just let it out. So it's deep sorrow. When you've attached yourself to something and that thing doesn't work out, then you're left with that deep pain. Next. Wow. Yes. Awesome. I love seeing this <clears throat> because the, the the five of cups is, you know, we got the four progressing to the five over here. Um, so there's this sorrow that is escalating from the past. And so, <clears throat> sorry, the four of cups is a closed heart, whereas the Ace of Cups is an open heart, right? So this card only shows up when you're ready to receive true love into your life. You've forgiven yourself, you've forgiven others, you've moved on, you've healed that wound, that deep wound. And that could only come from the destruction of the ego, putting an end to it, making that realization that you've been controlled by the ego, right? You, you, you're starting to make that realization. You're starting to understand that true love doesn't come with chains or attachments or conditions or controls, right? It only wants to love you and be loved. And so this is a new start. Another ace, ace of swords. So this was the card that the masculine was <clears throat> bringing into the union. I don't see my voice gets all scratchy when it has to do with communication, right? So... Communication was big. The masculine, you guys got the king of swords coupled with the throat chakra as a final outcome. So there's a sense that you make a decision, you ground that decision into reality. We got the ten of swords ending as a major message from the universe. And from that ending, there's that new beginning. And it's grounding the two of cups, spiritual union, into reality, making a decision. I want love. I don't want to be lonely anymore. I don't want to feel this heartache, this pain. I want unity. Final the card, cornerstone card. Wow, eight of swords. So we have the two of swords in the, you know, as a cornerstone card in the past, and that is the self-imposed prison of the mind, and here we got the exact same thing. Um, however, it's ex escalated, and it is an oppressive energy coming from the outside. So. Let me just <clears throat> pull one more card here. What do you mean by the Eight of Swords? Four of Pentacles being closed off. Um, what I see, you know, especially it's surrounded by the Magician, which is a one, the Two of Cups, two aces all right there's all this love in new beginnings one 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 two cups spiritual union and you know it's almost like you can feel him shaking those bars let me out you know and i feel him breaking free once and for all especially with the ace of swords there it's like it's using that sword to cut yourself free, new beginning, let yourself out of that prison. Yeah. Okay, so let me just pull one card from the Myths and Mermaids, and this will be your final message. So in the Twin Flame reading, you guys got the chariot, so you guys got to get control of your life and move forward. You know, 
open yourself up, release yourself from that prison, you hold the key. Water elementals. Number 10, completion. Okay, so let me weigh the matter carefully. Slowly sift results to even out the balance of the sea when everything in, is in harmony, in symmetry, in peace. Then everyone can finally be free. Okay, so that we see that harmony, that peace, that symmetry happening in the past. Wanting to be free. A group of three water nymphs lounge in a pond deep in contemplation, joined by their dolphin fish friend. They risk they rest and ponder under a darkened sky among the reeds of water lilies. So the meaning is all will become balanced, right? That was definitely something that you guys were trying to attain in the present moment for the twin flame. You guys got the temperance card. Um, yeah, and it also, that was part of the message that was coming in for the chariot as a final message. So yeah, there's definitely some synchronicity going on here. So lately you've had your share of ups and downs. Um, they have been, there have been many instances of confusion and times when you have felt um, pulled in several directions at once. External stressors have been wreaking havoc. Everything from unpredictable weather to unstable relationships can have a big impact on your emotional outlook. Fear not, my friend, for it won't be long before your life and body regain their natural sense of harmony and balance. You may need to reevaluate the aspects of your life that are giving you the most trouble and try setting some appropriate boundaries. Yep, that was the same kind of message that you're getting with the other card. Um, if someone is taking too much of your time and energy, it is all right to limit their presence and influence. Look to the near future and breathe a deep sigh of relief. Once again, you will feel calm, clear headed and motivated to live life to the fullest. Yes, you will feel that. Um, but right now it's okay to be afraid if you need to cut something out of your life, right? That's sucking your energy, that's holding you down, holding you back. All right, guys. So again, sorry about the interruptions. I do love you. Please leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe, right? Cheers.